When we think about ions that have a positive charge, we call those cations. And you can think of the T here as being a positive sign. So we have our positive sign right here, and that tells you that cations have that positive charge. So the ions with a positive charge, we call those cations. Some examples of cations would be the sodium ion, Na+, or the iron 2 ion, Fe2+, or even aluminum, Al3+. They all have a positive charge. And what that means is the positive charge tells you how many electrons they've lost or they've transferred when they formed bonds. Sodium, one. Iron, two, has two electrons. It's transferred or lost. And aluminum would have three. If we look at the periodic table, we can see that there's a trend for the positive ions and the negative ions. Group one, they all form one plus ions. There's our sodium. The transition metals right here, they're also positive. Iron two is right around here. And then we have aluminum right here, that's three plus. So we can look at the periodic table and see the ions that are positive as well. Note too that we can have polyatomic ions that are positive, so they're cations as well. H3O plus, that's a pretty common one. And then NH4 plus, the ammonium ion, that's pretty common too. And these really are the main positive cations for polyatomic ions. One last thing. Ions with a negative charge are called anions, and you can think of them as a negative ion, if that helps. This is Dr. B looking at the charge on cations and anions. Thanks for watching.